Okay, first step in creating this eye kit is to cut and drill the bracket that you're going to be using that you'll mount into your uh, three-axis skull. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of really good dimensions that you'll want to keep track of and some that will have a little bit of play in them depending on where your skull kit, how your skull kit is installed in your skull. Uh, the center of the eyes for a Lindbergh skull are usually one and seven eighths inches. I'll uh, display this on the screen for you and uh, try to put a template together that you can actually see that will um, I'll try to put into the um, video as well. So um, I have a, a little template here on my drawing and I'm going to go over the dimensions for you. The, uh, again, the eyes are 1 and 7 eighths inches apart. The top of the skull plate to the bottom of this bracket are, is going to be 2 and a half inches. The top of the skull plate to the center of the eye hole is going to be 2 and a quarter inches and the top of the eye plate itself is going to be two and three quarter inches. So, <coughs> excuse me, we have, uh, we're going to end up with a, a square piece of plate that is two and a half inches by two and three quarter inches square. And then we're going to um, cut a little notch out of the center of them to provide some clearance in the middle of the skull. We're going to drill holes two and a quarter inch down within that square. And I suggest that you cut the, that you drill the holes before you do any other cutting. Um, figure out what the best flat edge of the plexiglass is. Measure down two and a quarter inches, and I'm using a real ruler for this, um, just because I don't want to screw it up with a tape measure. So you go, um, what did I say, two and a quarter inches, and come out here and go two and a quarter inches. rather than with that sharpie just so that it's a little bit more precise. Again double checking two and a quarter, two and a quarter and I'm going to put a parallel line across the plexiglass. That's going to show how where my how deep my eye holes are going to be. I can then um, go back to the sharpie needs to be two and three quarter inches across. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Since this is my uh, good edge, I can use a speed square on this. bracket itself down to the bottom of the bracket is going to be uh, two and a half inches. Really what I have again is a two and a half by two and a quarter inch square. eyes are going to be one and seven eighths inches apart on that line that I just measured at two and a quarter inches. So roughly here. One and 
7 eighths inches. And then I usually do a cutout in the middle to provide a little bit of clearance. It looks something like this. I'm just going to freehand this. Not important that it's perfect. It doesn't matter that it's whether or not it is pretty or not. The important thing is the location of these two um, 11 32nd inch holes that you're going to put in this thing. And I always recommend that you drill these holes before you do any cutting. That way you'll always know that the holes are in the right place and as long as you keep your saw away from those holes you still have a decent bracket with which to work. Um, that's about it. So I'm going to go cut the uh, cut this bracket now and I will be back in just a moment and then I'll show you how it all fits together. Okay, here's what the bracket looks like. Remember I marked those cross lines. I drilled the holes first and then I cut out the bracket. Um, it does not have to look pretty. It's, not, it's going to be buried inside the skull so nobody's ever going to see it. And I have left the plastic um, cover on this bracket just uh, for the time being. It doesn't really matter though. I guess I can peel it off. just want you to be able to see it. Um, I also drilled two holes in the top here with the 964 inch bit. I drilled them down with a little bit of room to spare. These uh, three quarter inch number eight panhead screws are going to fit in there. And uh, you don't want to use a number eight bit for this because the plexiglass doesn't give much. So you want to use slightly larger than a number eight bit. The copper tubing. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention earlier, uh, I might go back and tell you about it, is you're going to need either a tubing cutter or a hacksaw. And you're going to cut pieces of one inch uh, tubing to... You need two pieces of one inch tubing. Okay, time to assemble the eyes. Uh, a couple things. I took um, these eyes out and um, the long lead is the anode lead. But when you add these pigtails to it, what you probably want to do is cut off all the leads so that they're the same length. First thing you should do before you do that though is mark the anode. So I took a sharpie and put a little red um, sharpie mark on the anode so that once I cut it off and they're all the same length we know what uh, which one's the anode. In this case the anode lines up with the black wire on this pigtail. Um, one other thing that I want you to do is this uh, little bracket, the connector here is just a fraction large 